To answer a call, you can either press the speaker button or pick up the hand receiver. To make a call, first dial your number. From there, you can either hit the speaker button, the send button, or pick up the receiver. To check your voicemail, simply press the envelope button. At this point, you'll enter your password. Default is normally 1234. Once in, you'll be greeted with your voicemail options. To create a contact, first press the address book. From there, select local phone book. Here, you'll be given the option to create a new contact. Now, you can add your contact's name. Once complete, scroll down to enter your contact's number. Then, press the Save button to complete. Once your contact's been saved, you can then select your contact and hit the Dial button. To call any one of the pre-programmed speed dials on your phone, simply select the button next to their name. The light turns from green to red, indicating that they're on the line. To get to your additional speed dials, you can either click the right or left arrow. To transfer any call, hit the transfer button and simply press the speed dial of the person you'd like to transfer them to. And as you can tell, the call went straight from this phone to this phone. To do an attended transfer, once you have your caller on the line, press the transfer button. You'll notice that the attended transfer option is highlighted. Select the speed dial of who you'd like to transfer it to Mention to them who's on the line, and then hit the transfer button to complete this transfer. To initiate a conference call, get your first caller on the line, then press the conference button. From there, you can add a caller. At this point, you'll notice on the screen a conference call button. Simply select that, and you'll notice that your calls have been merged together. To add more callers to this call, simply repeat the same steps. To place a call on hold, simply press the pause button. To retrieve that call, press the pause button again, or select the line light that's blinking. To place a call on park, simply press one of the lot buttons. If you notice, the lot that you've chosen, that light will turn red. To pick up that call on any other phone in the building, simply press the same lot button. To place your phone in do not disturb mode, press the mute button. It looks like a microphone with a slash through it. To remove your phone from do not disturb, Press the mute button again. To keep a caller from hearing you, you can simply mute the call by pressing the mute button. You'll notice the button will light up red. To unmute your audio, press the mute button again. To change the volume of your ringer, simply press the plus or the minus button. While on a call, to change the audio levels of the caller themselves, you can press the same button. The plus will raise the volume and the minus will lower it. To check your call history, you can simply press the history button or you can also press the send button.
To redial a call, you can either press the redial button on the screen or you can hit the send button twice. For more information or any other questions that you may have, feel free to call Netlink Voices Support Department anytime at 888-885-3399. Option 1.